Welcome, plungers. I'm Chase. Thanks for tapping in. I know it's been a while since my last video. My apologies. And there's a reason for that. My entire ARC data was corrupted. The file was corrupted and I had to delete it and start again. Long story short. So for the past few days, I've been undertaking this endeavor to create a bigger, better, more massive project because I named it The Architect. So I had to live up to the name. And as the series was progressing, each project was going to get bigger and nicer and more elaborate. And I figured since I had to restart, I had to go big. I had to go really, really big. This is what I came up with. Sit back, relax, grab a drink, grab a snack, pause the video right now if you need to. This took me quite some time to do. I'm not going to bore you with long talking. I will pop in and out at key moments to narrate a couple of things and give y'all direction as to what I had planned and my vision. But other than that, just sit back, relax, and enjoy this project at the end of the day i'm really just doing this so i could show it to you guys so if there's any part of this video that you do like smash the like button i entreat you you know it's not that hard doesn't cost you anything and it lets me and the algorithm know that you're rocking with me so let's keep it going i got a pteranodon and a dimorphodon as you saw that need names and i also have a pheomia and a triceratops that also need a name and you'll see the genders as we approach each one this is the breeding center it has its own generator because this place is so massive the generator on the other side doesn't reach over here so this is the breeding center uh the generator operates the lights and these 13 air conditioners throw an egg in here and walk it out either side to the world or back to the main chamber. Over here, we have the dock. And you can see what this pistol can do, this ascendant pistol in do to a megalodon real quick. And you also get a glimpse at the scope of the project and we'll continue. Over here, we have a shark pen tank containment with a level 61 shark that also needs a name and the only way to get to the wall on the other side of the tank is to go up and over the behemoth gate used as his egress into the open water you also get a glimpse of the exterior of the greenhouse water containment and the grotto Down here, we have the three tank water storage. In here is a utility cabinet with a preserving bin and three storage crates for functional use we have the greenhouse with quite a few plants, all of them doing pretty well, all of them getting 300% greenhouse effect. This is my respawn safe room. 
uh, has windows for access to the exterior and access to the exterior and upstairs it has its own private generator refrigerator and cryo fridge Here we have the workshop. We have assorted training dummies. And here we have our dry storage with assorted materials. And we have our blueprint bookcase. cold storage, we have our industrial grill, our industrial cooker, and here we have our industrial forge. We have six cryo fridges. In here, we have our grinder, our fabricator, our chemistry bench, and in here we have our generator. Come back around here, we have our dry storage. We have our safes. And conveniently tucked away, partially behind this safe and next to this lamp, we have our secret door. It's one of four as we head down this corridor that has windowed access on both sides all the way down so you can have random events of popping out to engage enemies who may or may not be outside the base. We come down here to the second secret door and we enter the tower. I always have windowed views because you got to see out. You got to see what's going on in the world. So there's Three hundred and sixty degree panoramic views all up and down the, the stairs of this tower as we speed up and we get to the top and it's a beautiful glass ceiling sculpted to look kind of like a flower. We'll get to the aerial views in the next episode. I'll let you see it from the outside in the next one. But this is the inside view so you can get a, an idea of the functionality of the base. Take the fast way down with this grappling hook also so you can see the attention to detail put into the structure of this staircase and the supports. And then we get down here to another secret door. Down here we have a pool with a gate. It gives us access to the shark tank. And I would advise against entering this shark tank because the shark is unaggressive. And whatever fish spawn in, he feeds himself off of it. But if there's no fish, it might be you.
Here we have another secret door, which gives us access to the outside. And you can see a little bit of the layout out here. And then we have another secret door. Okay, maybe there were five. It gives us the only indoor access to the aviary. And I built this aviary, I think, with a nice transition from the stone to the metal and from the metal to the glass as you come around. There's an unpowered generator room with fridge and cryo fridge. And up here we have the platform that will house all the flying tames. And I have a runoff here, a landing platform with a nice view of the herbivore center that we'll get to in a moment. And we have the exit, the front door to this right here. The herbivore center is the only building that doesn't have indoor access to the rest of the structure. It's standalone structure. my masterpiece. I call it the turtle. It started off being a dome and then I wanted to attach this gate to it, but I wanted to maintain most of the structure and make it nice and still be able to house larger creatures and still have the door in a way that it was still connected. And this is what I came up with. This is my magnum opus, my masterpiece. If you've been here this long, thanks for tapping in. And again, don't forget to leave a like. Sometimes it slips my mind myself. Anyway, stay a little bit longer. I promise you, as usual, I'll put a treat on the end for you. Have a good one. Peace.